y'all. Okay, so long day of work. I've been working, working, working. Y'all can tell I've been working. I got it's it's late. It's like 9 21. I got off about um sorry y'all. I got off later than normal today. Um I did what I call a deep clean, but um yeah, I'm gonna show y'all that later. I'm just gonna be a another video. But um I wanted to put the bag up here of what I got because I didn't feel like making nothing. Uh-oh. Didn't feel like cooking nothing. This is Miyabi. It's called Miyabi. Uh-oh. Let me see if I can straighten it out. Hold up. Miyabi Japanese Express. The reason, it, it's, it's on both sides. But it's me, Yabi, M I Y A B I Jr. Japanese Express. So this is Japanese food. Again, I told y'all I'm vegan. So let's see what I got. I have, you know, veggies and rice. That's all that I have. A beautiful vegan platter. I'm hungry, y'all. Long day. And I got some yum, yum sauce. And I got some ginger sauce. But they give you they give you two yum yums, which I love because you know I my girl. Your girl love yum yum. I like yum yum sauce. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all, y'all, y'all. Okay, let me dig in. Let me taste my vegetables. Let me say my grace first. Lord, I thank you for this food for um, that I'm about to receive for the nourishment of my body. In Jesus' name, amen. And... Two, two, two. I always get both because sometimes I like to switch up. You know, that's just me. I'm weird like that. But yeah, so I got zucchini. I got onions. I got mushrooms. I got broccoli. They normally put carrots, but I ain't want no carrot. Long day. I got some surprises for y'all tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday, the 23rd. I got surprises. Mmm. It's a Chinese restaurant right next to them. I'm not trying to hear it. It's nothing like Japanese food. I feel like that's a better, a better grade of Asian food to me. It's just delish. Delicious also. And I'm a foodie. Y'all know I like to eat. Turn. Love to eat. I told y'all I was gonna, you know, when I eat out, I was gonna eat at some vegan places so y'all can, you know. If you in North Carolina, find you with me, y'all, because they got several locations. Um. When you go to Google, type in me, Yabi, M I Y A V I Junior. 
with the little j j uh, Japanese guy on there. And it's Japanese Express, and it is delicious, honey. Oh my God. You want, you done had a hard day, you want something good when you come home and inexpensive. And this is my receipt. Oh well. They didn't put the amount on here. But I think it was six sixty nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, cause I never, you know, when, I always tell people when you go grocery shopping and when you go out to eat, when you don't have meat as your, and that's not why I don't eat meat. I mean, that's one of the benefits of not eating meat. But well, it is one of the reasons why. But it's not the main reason. It's a, it's after the fact of the big reason, which is the health. But um, and my energy and everything. But it's delicious. Um, when you don't have meat, again, your bill is cheap. Everybody else be like eight, nine, ten dollars. And they kind of remind you of Chipotle. And I mean, in the way that they have their menu, like. You can get it with me, without me. You got the veggies. You know, I think that's the style everybody's liking. There's a lot of people going vegan, even people that weren't vegan before. And my trusty y'all apple juice. And people think because you don't eat meat, you can't get full. That is a lie. Now, because I don't eat meat, sometimes I'm hungry. Then some days, some days I, I can eat on this twice because it'd be too much. And other days, if I'm really hungry, I eat the whole thing. Like tonight, I might eat the whole thing. That's because I've been, I mean, I put it in today. I put in the work. But it feels good when you eat out. You don't have to feel guilty about your health. You're just eating veggies. And they're good. And people think veggies are oh, veggies. If you listen, eating healthy, don't get me wrong. I'm a foodie, so eating healthy got to taste good for me, too. That's another benefit. A lot of people think because vegetables, veg vegetables are involved, that the food is not good. That's a lie. I'm going to have to debunk some of those myths. Because that's what it is. And if you got beans with rice, you know you ain't. And you definitely ain't going to be, um, you know, you know, hungry. You're going to be full. Like, totally full. Y'all can tell I'm hungry. I'm not even doing a lot of talking because y'all know I be talking up something, honey. What are y'all eating tonight? Come and pull up a chair.
Mm. Mm. I look more girly, don't I, y'all? I got my hair pinned up in the back. Spot right there. They hit the spot. <clears throat> so this is I call this, you know how they say fast food or fast food to go. Veggie to go. Veggie. Food to go. Veggie food to go. And I tell people, I told y'all, mushrooms are meaty. And can take the place of meat. I made some mushrooms. And I had a barbecue sauce that I put over. It tastes like barbecue meat. Like, it's like mind over matter. Mushrooms are much healthier for you. They have vitamin D, which a lot of people need. And I know for me, they get rid of the poofiness in my under my eyes. Um, and then they add collagen, the plumpness into your skin, ladies. It's a cosmetic. Y'all heard of collagen? Oh, excuse me. Y'all heard of collagen where, um, you know, some of these, some of our Caucasian friends have, um, they get the injections, you know, to plump up their faces. Well, if you eat eating mushrooms a lot, you don't have to worry about that. Not at all. Don't have to worry about it. Trust me. It works for me. So mushrooms is my meat. And I don't know if I told you, I think I did in the video where I made some tacos and chopped up some mushrooms like real fine, like ground beef. Cooked it in some taco seasoning. You know, sprinkled it in the taco like ground beef. Put your green onion, cilantro, a little bit of lettuce, and some salsa. You don't know what you're missing. It's good. You got to try it, though. You know, everybody's, you know, I, ooh, oh, my God. You know, I'm like, it's okay. Just try something new. Like, live a little. Just try it. Even if you don't, you find out that you don't like it, just it's worth a try. You cannot knock it until you what? Try it. Mm. Now, normally when I'm not that hungry, I do the chopsticks. You can tell I'm hungry because I want to do no chopsticks. Because you know it takes more with chopsticks. Y'all know that. It's more. It's a little bit more work. But it's a science to eating with chopsticks because it takes so much work and you're getting in little bites of food. You get fuller quicker when you eat when you eat with the chopsticks. Because it takes time to get full. You eating a little bit at a time. I don't know if that makes sense to y'all, but you eating at a slower rate in smaller portions. With a fork, you can scoop more on. But with, let me show y'all. With 
with chopsticks is like this. Now you can pick up some broccoli, but when it comes to picking up this rice, you gotta you gotta be skillful. Now this is you're not picking it up like this if you ain't you know been used to eating with the chopsticks. But I'm used to eating with them, but it's still see. Yeah, but, but just to show y'all, like, when I want to just be free and just go on and eat and not have to be doing all this and holding all this and doing all that and all this and all that, I'm good. Mm. <laughs> And you know it's good when you're doing the dance. You know it's good. Now, I probably, I probably, um, use some, um, I probably use some, um, I use my ginger sauce. This ginger sauce is real good. I use that later because I'm full now. I'm going to put it inside my plate so I can eat on it later. See, I'm full now. Like, I'm totally full. I don't want any more, and I'm good. See? So, if you, if, you know, if you don't have a Miyabi near you, what you do is, if whatever Japanese restaurant that you have near you that allows you to get the rice and the vegetables and all this. Or you Chinese. I mean, I didn't eat. This is Japanese, but go to the Japanese restaurants. They got rice and vegetables. I'm saying this for people that think they can't be vegan on the go. Now, a lot of food that you make in your kitchen... Vegan is um has to be prepared and pre and prepped and, and meal prepped. Um if I had a meal prep, I wouldn't be eating this, so I don't have any more meal prep, so I'm eating, you know, fast food. Plus it's been, you know, a long time. It's you know, long time I've been working today, so definitely nothing to be warming up or cooking. I could have warmed up my plate if, if I had it meal prepped. Because meal prep, you put you have it already prepped at the top of the week. You have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday plates, whatever. You label it what it is. You could throw it in the oven. When you get it, you know, jump in the shower real quick. By the time you come out, if you ain't taking no hour-long shower, that, that food will be good and hot. By the time you come out the shower, dry off and put your clothes on. You will be ready to go. So, um, I told y'all this is my lounge dress. So, I just come home and throw it on. But I'm getting ready to change my clothes and, you know, get more comfortable and relaxed. Um, so, I just wanted to say to y'all, yeah, you can do the vegan on the go. So, all this stuff about, well, I mean, how I'm not going to eat meat? I can't go out to eat. Well, you got, the myth is, is going to be debunked. You can go anywhere in, nowadays and get any, go to any restaurant, even Applebee's. If, 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 and, and push come to shove, if they don't have veggies, just veggies, and that's going to be a lie because they got salad. You can get a salad. I mean, eating healthy is a lifestyle decision. A lot of people talk about what they can't do. If you feel like you can't do it, then you're going to do exactly what you feel like you can't do. You understand what I'm saying? But if your goal is to worry about your health, if your health is the main concern and you really want to do right by your body and yourself and you want to have longevity, you want to have great energy, which is important to even live in this crazy evil world you know and and then you know for the work that you may do i don't know some people do manual labor 
you know, physical labor and all this kind of stuff. You need your energy because the energy keeps up your, your high vibration. You know what I'm saying? I know when I'm in a high vibration, I'm not upset. I don't let stuff get to me as quick. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know. I generally am, am happy and healthy and productive. So, you know, I'm big, y'all know I'm big on energy. So look, anywhere you go, some McDonald's got a, got something you can have. If it ain't nothing but some fries. And I don't even I don't even recommend McDonald's food. No, I'm not doing that. But I'm just telling you, I have gone places and gotten fries. And if it wasn't, if they didn't have nothing, I'd get the fries until I could get to what I wanted. You know that you know to the restaurant that had the the vegetables and the rice. So I just want to debunk the myth, take the fear out of it, um, out of eating vegan, um, you know, out of eating healthier. You can be vegan and go on a date. You can let them know you don't eat meat, and y'all go check. Like I said, remember, you can always check out the menu before you go, or do like I do. Walk up in the place and say, hey, I'm vegan. I don't want meat. What are your options? What are the options do, do I have to choose to, to eat at your restaurant? And, and people are willing to help you. They'll say, well, we got this. And some people say, well, you know what? We don't have it, but you know, we can make it. What do you want? I'll tell you what we got in the back and we'll whip you something up. Okay, so don't use that as an excuse. You know, I, you know. They don't have any healthy food. That's that, that's not going to be an excuse anymore. You can't use it. It's not going to work because every restaurant now, and I said almost every, because I'm sure some private-owned restaurants that are not well-known chains or local chains that have vegan options. I know Zaxby's, if you vegan, um... They got fried mushrooms. Now I don't eat fried stuff all the time, but when I want to fry, and you, and then they got French fries. They got crinkle cut French fries that are very filling. Now you know, vegan is not the healthiest state. I think alkaline is number two, and raw is number one. But vegan, I think, is number three. There's levels to healthy, just so y'all know, because vegan is not the top of the line as far as being healthy, because you got. Bread, you know, some people eat bread as vegans, white bread. I don't do that. Um, and, and um, you know, again, I told y'all cheese, but, you know, I'm, I've taken a lot of vegan things out of my diet as well. Um, and I'll do a video about that with, um, with everything. But, yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know just to take it, you know. You can do this. If you really want to do it, that's that's the million dollar question. If you know, if you want to do it, do you want to eat better? Um, live better, live healthier. Or do you want a healthier lifestyle? It's all up to you. It's a decision. You can make it. Choose ye this day. You can definitely choose. So um I just thought I'd show y'all my little vegan. Take out my little vegan, take out my little vegan on the go plate. See, I got that much left. I got a little bit left, y'all. Cheese. <laughs> I am tired. I'm tired. So, I am sounding off trendset again. Love you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, don't forget to click that notification bell so you'll know every time I upload a new video. And see you on the next video. Love you, Trinsetta gang. Bye.